So here's the scenario. You want to learn to play guitar, but you don't know where to start. There's lots of guitars available from different brands across different price points. It's really overwhelming. In the past, I would have said the right guitar really depends. But now I'm going to tell you that there are some guitars that are specifically suited toward the beginner. Today, we're going to talk about Taylor's Academy series of guitars, its unique features, and why it matters to those who are starting out. Stay tuned. Hey, you're watching Alamo Music TV. My name is Chris McKee with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you're new to our channel, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, and like our videos. If you'd like to support the channel, make sure to visit our Teespring store below where you can browse our custom designed t-shirts like this one. So as I was saying, a number of years ago, Taylor Guitars made the decision to produce a line of acoustic guitars specifically for the beginning guitar player. Now we've looked at and reviewed these guitars before, but there's been a number of changes since they were first introduced. And in light of what's going on in the world, being kind of shut in with the pandemic and so many people wanting to start learning to play guitar, I felt it was important to take another look and revisit this great line of acoustic guitars from Taylor. The Academy series is named specifically for that reason. It's meant to be for people in a learning mode, like you would be in an academy, right? This is your starting point. This is your student guitar to learn on. And with that in mind, Taylor Guitars wanted to produce a guitar that had specific features that benefited the novice beginner guitar player. So there's six total guitars in the lineup. They all share a number of features. We're gonna go through each one of them, but let's start with the one that I'm holding. This is the Academy 12 in. The in stands for nylon. Now the Academy 12 is a small grand concert sized body. This guitar is available in the nylon strung version as well as a steel string version. And both models are available with or without pickups. So if you wanted to get this with a pickup, it would be an Academy 12 nylon E or NE. They also have the Academy 10 and 10E. That is a dreadnought shaped version of these guitars. All six guitars in the Academy series lineup across two body shapes, which is the dreadnought and the grand concert body shape, have a number of features that are consistent in the line. And these are features geared toward the beginning player. The first feature that you'll notice that is usually something reserved for their higher end guitars is right here on the lower bout of the body. This is a beveled armrest. Now what they're doing here is basically when they're building the guitar, there's a shelf that's going in there. And then the corner, the sharp edge, like you would see here, that's normally there on the guitar, gets machined away, leaving this nice, flat, comfortable beveled surface. Now this is very important for you as a guitar player really whether you're beginning or not, because what this does is it allows for a more ergonomic feel to the guitar. When you have the guitar in your lap, like so, and you drape your arm over the top of the guitar, typically, depending upon your size and the size of the guitar, your arm is going to lay across really a corner. It's just about a 90 degree angle where the back and the top, or the sides and the top meet. It can be rather uncomfortable, particularly if you are using a larger guitar and you are a smaller stature. But even someone who's larger with a small guitar, you're going to find part of your arm resting on that corner at some point. The benefits of this bevel mean that when you drape your arm across, your picking hand can rest comfortably and you don't have the guitar digging into your elbow or your arm anywhere. That means that because you are more comfortable, you are more likely to play longer. And that's something that all of us in the guitar industry, from builders to dealers, are trying to work on. It's actually kind of a dirty secret that a lot of people who start playing guitar don't finish, don't continue learning how to play guitar. They're overwhelmed for a few reasons, I think. One, the choices and how to learn about, you know, go about learning the, the fretboard. But two, the discomfort they feel in trying to play the instrument. Part of it is right here. And so that armrest bevel gets rid of that. But the other part of it 
is over here. Now, I'm sad to say, nobody's figured out how to prevent you from going through the pain of developing calluses. It just simply is part of the process. You're going to have some discomfort and pain as you are learning to play guitar because you are building up calluses and resistance in your fingertips. However, I will say that the better built the guitar is, the lower the action, which is the string height from the fret to the bottom of the strings, is going to be. With good action, you can have good playability. Taylor's actually done a number of things on these guitars to ensure that you have easy, good playability. The necks are extremely comfortable. Whether it's the nylon string I'm holding or if we take a look at the steel string version of the same guitar. The neck has an incredibly comfortable profile to it. That's the part that fits into your hand. And the action, the strings rest, uh, height from the frets is very, very low. Now the other thing that they've done on all of these guitars, including the steel string guitar, is they've shortened the action or the, the, the scale length rather. The scale length is the vibrating length of the string measured from the saddle here to the nut. This is a slightly shorter scale length. That means that the strings are a little bit slinkier. They're a little bit looser. And what that means is that there's less tension, so the amount of effort it takes to push the string down is less. So those features right there, just from here at the comfort of your right or left arm, depending upon your picking hand, and the comfort of fretting, with your fretting hand makes this a fantastic instrument for someone who's starting out. In addition to those aspects of the guitars, we have Taylor's commitment to quality. There is not a single thing you can find wrong with any of these guitars. Over the years as these have been produced, I have looked at numerous models of the Academy series and I can never find a single problem with any of them. They're incredibly well-made, well-produced guitars. They all feature layered back and sides of Sapele. The tops are solid. Now there's another point, and I've talked about this in videos. You want to get a solid top guitar. That's the part of the guitar that makes most of what you hear. The volume that's going to come out of the guitar is primarily coming from the top. If you get something that's laminate, then it's not going to move very much. Instead, you want to opt for a guitar with a solid top, and if you can, scalloped bracing like these guitars have. Along with that, you get, like I said, fantastic fit and finish, the option of a pickup should you want to get it with a built-in tuner, and all of them come with a gig bag. Now, the steel string versions are layered Sapele back and sides with a solid Sitka spruce top and a maple neck, ebony fingerboard, and bridge. On the nylon string that I had, it's a Lutz or Lutz spruce top layered sapele back and sides with a mahogany neck on it instead of the maple, giving it more of a warmer tone in response to those nylon strings. Like I said, you can have any of them with or without a pickup and they all come with a fantastic gig bag from Taylor that allows you to put it on your back, take it to your coffee shop as you progress in playing. They sound fantastic, they feel fantastic, and if you're looking for a guitar, you should look at these. I'm gonna play each one of these for you so you can get an idea of what each body shape sounds like. Check it out.
So there you have it, Taylor's Academy series of guitars. Now these guitars currently, at the time I'm shooting this, this video, start at $499 and go up from there. Now you might be saying, and I know it's already gonna end up in the comments below, that's a lot for a beginner guitar. I disagree with you. I don't think it's a lot for a beginner guitar. I do agree that there are other guitars out there that are good quality guitars that are available for less money. They also lack any of these features that I've shown you, particularly this armrest bevel, that are available on this product. But there are good quality guitars available for less money. But let's put it all in perspective to finish this off. If you have a child or you yourself are going to start middle school band and you are going to start playing something like the trumpet, it's going to cost you at least about $800 for a student model instrument. That's almost twice as much as what one of these costs in order to get that individual trumpet player off on the right foot when it comes to playing their instrument. You wanna give them a good quality instrument. Same thing holds true for guitar. Just because there are lesser expensive models doesn't mean that's the best choice for you. So, if you are starting out or you know someone who is starting out and you're looking for the very best student guitar that's available, you should seriously take a look at Taylor's Academy series of guitars. At the end of the day, that's what they're designed for. They are student guitars from the ground up. So, that's my opinion. If you liked this video, give us a thumbs up. If you didn't, click the other button. That's okay, I'm thick skinned. But if you're new to our channel, make sure that you subscribe, turn on notifications, and comment below. Tell us your experience with a student guitar. Mine was from Mexico, it was nylon string. The brand name was Tom. It was terrible. It eventually imploded, but I learned to play on it. Sometimes nothing can keep you down. Let us know your stories with any of these guitars. If you'd like more information about these, visit our website, alamomusic.com. We can chat live with you and help you find the perfect guitar. Because at the end of the day, the best guitar in the world is the one that you're making music on. We want to help you do that. So keep watching, and I'll see you next time.